Hey guys, it's Chip Forsyth with Regis Fear Pythons, and today is July 21st, and guess what? Clutch number five has arrived. She was a little late and uh, had me going for a while, especially being this is my first year. I just wasn't sure. I kept thinking, you know, she's gotta be pregnant. Look at her, her backbone's protruding, and and she's staying on the heat constantly, And but she just kind of threw me off. Like I said, it was day 38. So let's take you into the uh, snake room there and show you what I saw. All right guys, so this is Cookie. She is an inchy clown and I bred her to Josie Wells, my spot nose clown. So I'm gonna pull her out safely and securely. Try to grab that tail. There we go. her up and I've got a spare tub I'm gonna put her in and I checked her as well to see if she's empty let's see what we got one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten whoa okay I've got her a bath all set up and I'm gonna set her in here I got the temperature set at about 85 degrees which should be comfortable for her got me a lid with holes cut in it set her to the side and let her sit for 20 minutes let's see what we got here okay they're coming in at 910 grams so that's 91 grams each all right let's separate these eggs which i think is going to go pretty easy she must have laid them last night at some point <clears throat> we had a huge storm and I don't know if there's any significance to that like I said she was running late as far as her delivery or you know hatching these eggs and so I don't you know 38 days is not all that or 35 whatever it was is not all that bad I'm just glad it's 10 eggs man can't even believe that My biggest clutch so far has been 11 with, with Miss Kitty, but she's a 4,000 gram snake. And this one here, uh, I think her max was like 2,800. So that's pretty darn impressive, I think. So I'm looking for the embryo in these, and I'm using my flashlight. This one is right here at the top. There's a circle right there and you're kind of that's what you're looking for that little circle and that's this is the top of the egg got my egg box and like most everybody else does they already have them set up for the season in their incubators ready to roll and for those who are new i i use 200 grams of vermiculite and 600 grams of water and that some may say that's too much or it's too little but so far it's I've not had any problems everything's looking great and I'm you know I'm gonna stick with it got all my straws cut so let's get these all set up all right guys there it is I was able to fit all nine of them in there without any problems now I'm gonna put my pressing seal on Got my card all made out. Following 403 Fauna's advice, Mark Jensen. I got my male first crossed with my female, which is a cookie. I got the weight of the eggs. Uh, she should be, my 55th day will be September 14th. And uh, I'm gonna also weigh the my girl here, Cookie, and see what she weighs. Put that on the card as well. <clears throat> Okay, into the incubator. All right, now I'm gonna get rid of this tub, clean it out, sterilize it. One very important thing I'm gonna do, which this is for all the new people out there, is I'm gonna clean underneath this. I know all the people who do this for a long time have already been doing this, but People just don't think about this. Um, 
get all the way back there where she's at. You can see where she's been rubbing up against the top. <coughs> I use chlorhexidine, which is cheap, cheap, cheap. go slide the new tub in there another thing I do got this from Chris Hardwick he pulls his cocoa up a little bit because they're gonna move it out of the way anyway and you know go ahead and get it out of the way for them to begin with if they want to move it back there fine but this way when she gets on here it's already warm it's not having to go through all this got me some water now I've dried her off and she is ready for her new home. And hopefully she'll be back on food soon. You did a great job. There we go. Skinny little thing. Well, there you go. 10 healthy eggs. I am so, so happy. And I looked on Morph Market and I really can't find any uh, spot nose inchy clowns. So, you know, maybe there's a need for them. We'll see. But I am extremely happy. One thing I did notice, uh, or take away, so to speak, from this is that the very first clutch I did, I bet the whole process of filming and everything took me probably about an hour and a half, two hours, getting everything set up and ready and prepared and and uh, the water and for the bath and all that. And this time, I was able to knock all this out in 45 minutes. So I'm definitely getting a little more uh, uh, used to the situation. I appreciate you guys joining me and following me along this journey. I know you hear that a lot, but uh, this really, to me, has been a journey and I'm excited. Can't wait to see the results of these little babies. And soon I'll be cutting some more eggs, so be sure and come back and watch those videos. I'm Chip Forsyth with Regis Fear Pythons. You guys take care and have an awesome day.